This month is dedicated to raising awareness for bre breast cancer, but the fight to find a cure goes far beyond the month of October. Today, I'm joined by breast cancer survivors and members of Runway for a Cure DC. I want to begin with the founder, Ramia Henderson. Welcome to Good Day. Hi, thank you. Thank you, Marissa. Yeah. Thanks for having us. And I know you wear, literally wear, <laughs> this mission uh, on your heart, but also on your clothing. And I want our viewers to see the back here where you say... Fashion is the cure. Fashion is the cure. So talk about how you use fashion and the resources from an annual event in our area to give back in that way. So uh, six years ago, we started Runway for a Cure DC, really looking for a way to uplift survivors, make them feel beautiful, give them a day or two to just strut their stuff and you'll see you know, what they do when, when they come out. And we know it's critically important that women get screened and I know that you support the underinsured and the uninsured in exactly. various communities in our area. Exactly, so our mission is to pay for mammograms for men, men or women, yes who are uninsured. Uh, we support Breast Care for Washington, D.C., who's located in Southwest. So we give some of our funds there, and we also give some of our funds to survivors who are having financial difficulties. Okay, well, let's bring out some of our survivors and fashionistas, yes. runway models here. Uh, one at a time, Ramia, you can begin to show them what people can expect at one of your fashion showcases. Sure, first we have Ricky Fairley. She's wearing oh, wow. uh, the Rebirth of Style, which is my own brand. Uh -huh. uh, so your After Five Glitz and Glam, uh, it's a strapless uh, uh, gown, and she's wearing it so lovely. With a beautiful smile, <laughs> so you gotta have that accessory, right? That's the main, main key. Next up, our next model. Next we have Tallulah Anderson. Uh, she is wearing a coat made by my, uh, made by me. Um, the wow. Rebirth of Style as well, as well as the dress that's under there. So that's a, a, a wool cashmere uh, blush pink uh, coat. With the, with the dress to match. That with the is little a real showstopper, and she knows how to rock it, too. I see it. I love the, the pink accents on the lips. I saw the toes, too, as well. Exactly. From head to exactly. toe. Our next model. Next, we have Kimberly Booker. Oh. Uh, she is as she's in uh, the Rebirth of Style as well. This is my emerald green geisha dress. Um, as you can see, it's a little mesh in the middle uh, to show off the waistline, and she is wearing it, wearing it, wearing it. Now, what about the bedazzle? <laughs> the of it bedazzle. All? of it all, yes, the emeralds of it all. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, but certainly not least. We have Tania Pear. Uh, she is wearing Salon Michonne. I'm also wearing Salon Michonne pants. Wow. Uh, so that is a great two-piece. It's so fun and flair. Uh, we, we just love it. So we wanted to, you know, show you a little bit of the blush pink mm. here uh, in the studio today, and she is wearing it well as well. Okay. <laughs> and I can, I can feel the great energy and also the sisterhood in the yes. studio. How does it feel for you to be involved with Ramia's cause and, and know that you have that support as a survivor? She is awesome. She gives us such love and makes us feel special. And, you know, black women have a 41% higher mortality rate of breast cancer, and D.C. is one of the worst cities for us, so we are so blessed to be alive. I'm a 12-year survivor, and just it's it's a you know my God job to be an advocate for breast cancer and do this work with her. Oh, I love to hear it, and we love the work that you do, Ramia. Thank You've been you. going almost seven years strong, <laughs> so we want to bring out uh, Eastern's Automotive. They have something to present and come oh, on right oh, here wow. to you, so that you can continue this mission. They are presenting a $2,200 check oh, for the runway for the Cure <laughs> DC. <laughs> wow! Oh my God. Oh, so, oh my God. Thank you, Eastern Automotive, so much. This is going to mean the world to our organization. Like I said, we pay for mammograms for men and or men or women who are uninsured, and this will go towards that cause. Thank you so much. Uh, the survivors love this. So it's, it's so, we're so yes. grateful. Thank you so much. You're paying. We're paying it forward, <laughs> right? It's a life-saving mission. <laughs> and thank you, ladies, for all that you do. And Ramia, keep thank on you. keeping on. Thank you. All right.